Yesterday, we had taken a look at the new Gemini 2.0 Pro model that is Google's new and best model yet for coding performance and complex prompts. It is exceptional in coding tasks where it records superior performance against many models like the new DeepSeek R1 as well as their V3 model as well as in comparison to many of the models that we've seen over the past couple of months like GPT-4 Omni and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. It can tackle complex prompts as the model has a great understanding of complex instructions as well as reasoning using world knowledge. There's also a 2 million context window which is perfect for coding as it enables analysis, processing, as well as understanding of vast amounts of information, which is better than most models are capable of doing. And in this case, you have such a great speed and affordability that it works hand to hand with this context window. Now, I showcased how well this model is in my previous video yesterday, where I showcased the remarkable combination of Klein with the Gemini Pro model. So I definitely recommend that you take a look at it. But essentially, from that video, we were able to see how well this model is in perfecting code-based tasks and having it so that it can autonomously elevate your coding experience with this model. From my initial tests, I definitely see that this model is quite impressive in terms of its affordability and the performance as well as the speed. Now, on LLM Arena Benchmark Test, which is the community-led benchmark scoring test, it had recorded that this Gemini 2.0 Pro model ranked number one across all benchmarks, but in the test, they didn't even really compare it with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, as well as the new O1 and O3 models. It does show that it is remarkable in comparison to DeepSeek R1, but it is definitely unfair to call it number one across all different benchmark scores when you're not even testing it against the state-of-the-art models. But Overall, it's a great alternative to many of those other models. It is something that is affordable, which is why you would want to use this with its context length as well as its image processing. So this is why you would potentially want to use this over many of the other models that are out there. Now today, what we're going to be doing is combining the new Gemini 2.0 Pro model with Bolt.DIY for you to easily develop full stack web apps as well as helping you elevate your coding experience with this AI agent. For the people who do not know, Bolt.DIY is the official open source version of Bolt.new and essentially it enables anyone to prompt, run, edit, and deploy full stack applications based off of prompts and with the combination of your LLM of choice. So in this case, we would use the new Gemini 2.0 Pro model with Bolt.DIY to help us extend and develop anything. Now the great thing for us is that we can actually access a free Gemini 2.0 Pro API from OpenRouter. If you are to go over to OpenRouter, you can go over and search up Gemini Pro 2.0 Experimental, and you can go ahead to the API tab once you create an account completely for free, and you can simply go ahead and create an API key to access that free API so that we can then paste it into bolt.diy. Now to install this, you have a couple of different methods. Now, if you're gonna be following through with my installation process, I'm gonna be directly installing it. So I'm gonna be following through with these following commands, but you can also use Docker to install this. And they also have a source file that you can install to quickly get started. But if you're gonna be following through with option one, you're gonna to need to fulfill the prerequisites. You need to make sure that you have Git installed to help you clone the repository locally. You'll need to make sure that you have node.js as well as the pnpm command to install the certain packages. So once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, go over to this repository, click on this green button at the top and copy this link to clipboard. Now you can scroll all the way back down to the installation demo and you wanna then simply open up command prompt. Once you have opened up command prompt, type in git clone and then paste in the link and click enter. Now I'm getting this error because I already have bolt.diy cloned onto my computer. But for the people who are going to be doing this for the first time, it's going to start cloning this into the desired path that you have specified. But once it has finished cloning, you can simply type in cd bolt.diy to get into the bolt.diy directory. Then you want to go ahead and install the packages with the npm command. So go ahead and paste this in. This will start installing everything that is necessary. Once that is done, install the project dependencies. So you will need to use the pmp pnpm command to install all that. And once that is done, you can then start up the application with 
the pnpm run dev command so go ahead and paste this into your command prompt and this will start this up within your local host so that you can then access it on the web so there we go we can then go ahead and copy this this will take a couple of minutes to start up depending on your computer and essentially you're going to be then able to access it through the local host after it loads up and there we go we have bolt.div locally installed with all the new updates before we get started i got a huge new update this is where i've launched a new newsletter this is something that's going to be sent out on a weekly basis and it's essentially going to be updating you on the latest ai advancements comparison of different large language models ai news as well as ranking different ai agents so definitely go ahead and subscribe to this because you don't want to miss out on free ai news what you want to do next is head over to open router and find the gemini 2.0 pro flash experimental model and once you have found it you can then go ahead and set your api key so go ahead and paste in that free api key that you got from open router and then now you can simply go ahead and build anything with this so you can see right away it can go ahead and code out anything with the free api so this is completely for free and you're gonna have this generate anything for you so there we go i actually had faced an error so i had to go ahead and run the npm run dev command but there you go you have this simple to do app and you can see that i can add anything and there we go we can also delete it so it was able to build this out quite quickly and you can see that it was completely for free with this free api that we got from open router so let's have bolt.dli work on something a bit more intricate. I'm going to have it create a fitness goal tracking app that allows me to calculate my protein, calories, set my fitness goals, and I told it to look modern and add a lot of features to this. So we can see right away it is working rapidly to generate all the different files and we're going to basically see what it ends up building for us. So most of the times it's going to start to fail uh to start the application so you can simply go ahead and click ask bolt and it can then work on fixing on that error and then the second try is when it will finish off the development of it so let's see what it ends up building and there we go this is the first iteration of this fitness tracker app where you can set your goals over here you can add your food so you have the food name calories and the amount of protein there is there and essentially it's super basic but i'm gonna go ahead and iterate on this further to make it look a lot better and add more functionalities so it definitely looks a lot better now and essentially i added the chat cn packages so you have the calculator you have the ability to view the visualization of, of your progress and then you can set your goals over here where you can have your strength goals your weight goals and eventually i was going to add your diet goals but in this case you can enter your weight height age your gender your activity level and then your goal and then you can calculate it and then you can see the progress over here so this was a simple app that i created with this new gemini 2.0 pro model and you can see it is definitely remarkable if you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different ai tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it for today's video on Bolt.diy combined with Gemini 2.0 Pro. It's definitely exceptional in terms of its coding performance, and I definitely recommend that you try it out as it's completely for free to access. So with that thought, I definitely think that the combination of these two is an ideal way for you to develop a good basis of your full stack app as in the structure of it. So it's definitely recommend that recommended that you try it out because it will definitely help you out and elevate your efficiency and productivity so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you follow me on the patreon follow me on the twitter page so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spare positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas